It's Dave TV brought to you by Lion's Den Edible Massage Candle Sensual Strawberry. Get this one for your main squeeze. Hey, everybody. It's Big Dave. Just had lunch, and I might have stuff in my beard. I haven't checked. This is my kitchen. <laughs> this is my Tabasco sauce. This is my fridge. Beat up old fridge. This is what I eat. This is my stuff. There's my bananas. There's my, my camo ice cream, whatever. Anyway, this is the table that I put all my junk on when I'm reading stuff. I The Wall Street Journal, far better newspaper than the Washington Post, have to say. It's just, it looks better, it reads better, it's got a better mix of stories, it's far better. Um, but I still get the Post. Uh, you know, this is good. Did you check this out on the Mondays, October 5th? Well, New York Times, also a much better paper than the Washington Post. TV transformed, uh, dawn of social television, dawn of uh, blah, 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 blah. just gets into every th aspect of television, how it's changing, and it's uh, really cool. Um, so yeah, dig up, see if you can dig up Monday's paper from last week or this past week and get that. Anyway, and uh, good old Keith on the Rolling Stones. Uh, look at it. My friend gave me this. He gives me his copy of Rolling Stone after he's done reading them, but my goodness, this one looks like it's been through the uh, bathtub or something. Anyway, and, and of course, the Best Buy Circular. Never avoid that. Now, it's not in... The Best Buy Circular isn't in the post every week anymore. It's only in a couple times, but when it's there, it's good reading. And then, of course, the great New York Times Washington edition. Anyway, so here's the Washingtonian. The 50th anniversary edition, just picked this up. Got some really cool media stuff in here, so let's take a quick look at it, okay? Uh, first off, uh, this is what, the October, I guess this is the October one, I don't know, but anyway. So we got uh, the 1980s here, some of their covers, and there of course is the infamous Howard Stern, back when he worked at DC 101. So there we go, Howard Stern. <laughs> And uh, some other media stuff in here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Jim Vance tells all. This is from the 1990s. His tough early years breaking into television, fighting drugs and other demons, battling back to the top at Channel 4. So there we go, Jim Vance. And then let's see some other stuff in here media-wise. Um, they pick the, um, I guess, the moments that changed Washington over the years. Not a lot of media stuff in here, although they have Bezos buying the post and stuff like that. They should have had HFS and all that, but no. Here, 1989, Jim Vance teams with Doreen Gensler. Um, and there's a picture of them there today. There they are. Um, not a mention of Gordon Peterson in here. You know, I would have think with all the mentions of Jim Vance, I think a, a note or two about Gordon Peterson. I, I didn't see anything. Maybe I missed it. There's some Matt Drudge, but uh, yeah, you know the the Gordon the Gordon Peterson Max Robinson pairing of the early 1970s. One of the first interracial pairings of TV journalists, TV uh, anchors at Channel 9, the old WTOP, which was owned by the Washington Post. I think that deserves a mention uh, as things that changed Washington as much as the Doreen and Jim thing did. Now, I'm looking back here at the 70s, and, yeah, they got the, the yeah, they got the, uh, Pandas and stuff like that. John Deller, John Denver plays the cellar door. I mean, come on. Come on, give us some love, huh? Jim Vance, Doreen Gents are great, but Gordon Peterson and Max Robinson, that was bigger. My, In my humble opinion. Okay, here we go. Local legends, of course, the great. I was going to say the late great, but he's not late. He's still alive. He lives in Herndon, not far from me. Dick Dizel, who is 68. Going on 70, was Captain 20, was Count Gordival at the late great, I call it the late great Channel 20. They're still around, but they're just a, a shadow of themselves. But yeah, he's, he's a great guy. He still does his uh, spooky movies at the AFI and stuff like that. A wonderful man. Count Gore isn't dead, and neither is Dick Dizel. So that's cool. This guy used to see at Lambda Rising all the time, too. Look at that. Jim Bennett and Deacon McCubbin. Back, that was a cool bookstore. Anyway... Some other things. This is wild. This is a picture here of some TV anchors, females. Okay, I recognize her, J.C. Hayward, easy to recognize, and Maureen Bunyan, who's still on the air now. But look at Renee Poussaint. Oh, my goodness. Put on a few pounds, huh? <laughs> and um, 
Oh, um, so yeah, so, uh, so, uh, very cool. Renee Poussin, J.C. Hayward, who, uh, and Meryl Comer, Meryl Comer, who, uh, she was a co-anchor of the Channel 5 News as of 1973, so some, some four, um, groundbreaking female anchors. I, I would have to say especially JC because she's been there the whole time. And uh, sad to see her career end as it did, but you know, she's uh, made a couple dumb decisions there at the end, but uh, you know what we all do, right? <laughs> and then of course we've got, you never forget these guys, <laughs> Willard Scott and Ed Walker here, the Joy Boys. We lived our funny lives. And uh, Willard, uh, you don't see too much of him. Is he still on the Today Show? I don't know. But uh, Ed's still heard every Sunday night on WAMU doing the big broadcast. So uh, that's cool. It's a very cool edition of Washingtonian Magazine with some cool media things in here. Um, but I would have liked to see a little uh, a little love given to Gordon Peterson and Max Robinson because I do think that uh, that was kind of a big deal. And they should have. That changed Washington, I think. That changed TV news. But what the heck? It's Washingtonian which is okay, right? All right, folks, that's Dave TV for, what's today, the 10th of October, 2015. Got the camo pants on. Got the zipper up good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> what else? Anything else today? No? Okay. Adios, amigos.